Okay, how many kids you have? I have two. How many baby daddies? Two. Two? Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? No. No? Mm -hmm. Your first one is given. Your second one, the mistake is on you. Oh, is it? What's good, YouTube fam? It's your girl, China Ahu Party, coming to you live. We got a pop the balloon segment. This guy, he comes on, he has a lot to say, and I don't think the ladies are feeling him. <laughs> We're going to see what happened. Let's get right into it. Let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. I'll have you hold this. How are you doing, Alette? Good, good. How are you? Can we get Great. your name? My name is Brian. Brian, how old are you? I'm 40. 40? I'll and be 41 in September. Okay, it's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> and Brian, what do you do? My aircraft mechanic. Now, I do remember this guy off of one of our other episodes. He was the shorter one of the bunch. And for that reason, he did get popped by a lot of women on that show. He always interrogated them afterward. I'll say even if they didn't pop for that reason, he would have questions for them. I can say that he does look good. He's 40 years old. From first glance, I would say he's like in his early 30s. He's a good looking man taking care of himself. I love that. Love that for him. Very for a major cool. airline. All right. So now, I put fixed planes. Mm -hmm. I want you to get home safe. <laughs> we appreciate you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now uh, what are some things that you uh, like to do for fun? Things I like to do for fun. Um, I like trail riding. Mm. I live in Houston. Okay. I'm from New Orleans, but I like to ride horses. I'm a country, country guy. Okay. okay. I'm still city, but you know I like to do country things. Got uh, it. I like to read. Um, I'm from the ghetto, but I am a nerd. Okay. I like to read. I want to know about things that I don't know. Mm. Okay. Um, I like to go lounges. Right. I like to go to museums. You know, I just like to really. Um, have a good time. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Like, the things he's saying, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, he likes the museums. He loves to read. That's wonderful. You know, expand your knowledge. I'm from the ghetto. <laughs> the way he said that, hey, if it's true, it's true. The ghetto versus the hood. I think most people would say I'm from the hood. There's actually nothing wrong with what he's saying. I think it's just the way he's saying it. It comes off a little aggressive. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. Some things that you're looking for in a woman. Transparency. Mm. For sure transparency okay if i can't see who you are when i meet you then i would never know mm. right uh loyalty that 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 really um for men that's a big thing loyalty mm -hmm. uh, i need to know when you out partying having a good time that you loyalty and you faithful mm. to a man like me okay now what are some of your deal breakers deal breakers um i really don't have deal breakers right because i'm from the ghetto so i understand that you know, we do a lot of things in our past and in our youth that uh, is really a problem. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have any deal breakers. But as far as deal breakers, I don't really have any. I don't have any deal breakers because I'm from the ghetto. What? Deal breakers. That, that's just something that you can't tolerate in a relationship. Cheating. An obvious deal breaker. He wants a loyal girl. Well, somebody that's not loyal, that's a deal breaker. I guess he's saying that he's not judgmental toward anybody's history, but shoot, if they still doing stuff from their history that wasn't good, doing toxic things, then that should be a deal breaker. Maybe they should have grown by now. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that didn't make sense. But loyalty, transparency, those are good qualities. Very good qualities to have in somebody. So we did get a few pop balloons. Okay. Let's go on over to those ladies, see why they ended up popping. No problem. All right, let's start right on over here. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Mrs. Parker, but I go by Mrs. Okay. I'm 39. Mm -hmm. and you said you're 39? 39. All right. And Mrs. Parker, what do you do? I'm a professional makeup artist. A makeup artist? Yeah, shout out to makeup by Mrs. Parker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Mrs. Why did you end up popping your balloon? I popped your balloon because you said you don't have any deal breakers, and everybody has to have some type of deal breaker, so you have to have something that you don't like. But you look really nice. You look dapper. Nice to meet you. It's definitely nice to meet you. Uh, when it comes to deal breakers, I'm not a surface level dating type of guy, right? Okay. I don't really care about your past. I'm from the ghetto. I'm from New Orleans, right? So nothing that you've done in your past doesn't matter to me because that was before me. After me, that's when you upgrade yourself. So that's why I said I don't have any deal breakers because I don't want to say that, hey, you know, you know you're, you're not my type because of what you've done in your past, not knowing that that wasn't right or wrong. I don't know why Arlette is not in her head. Like, this is making sense, <laughs> okay? A couple other balloons were popped and he was thrown off. They popped their balloons because clearly that doesn't make sense. His answer, being from the ghetto, 
having deal breakers, they do not go together. These are two different things. Deal breakers, somebody that's dishonest, a poor communicator, a woman that goes out every night and goes drinking. Don't you want somebody at home with you taking care of you? No, he's not saying that. He has no deal breakers. She can do whatever she wants any time of the night, baby. He will be there. Maybe that's a good one. <laughs> you can do whatever you want in this relationship because he's going to stay. <laughs> and has he said he's from the ghetto like three times now? Like, bro, we get it. You're from the ghetto. Respect. Mm -hmm. And now, um, is Mrs. someone that is your type? She de definitely. She got this cowgirl going on. I'm from the <laughs> South, right? You know, so I like your outfit. I like what you got going on. Definitely. Thank you. All right. Let's go to our next lady over here. If we can have your name and age. Um, hi, I'm Tracy, and I'm 37. I'm from New Orleans as well, and mm -hmm. I live in the DMV. Mm -hmm. Um, and the reason why I popped my balloon is because I am from New Orleans and just the energy I w just wasn't vibing with. Like, I think you're super cool. I love the way that you look. But as far as like energy, I feel like I've dated guys from New Orleans before and it just did not work out for me. So I think because we come from the same place, it just clashes. OK, mm -hmm. so since we come from the same place, it clashes. Yeah. You know, I, I, um, I just haven't had really good relationship experiences mm, dating you, people from my hometown. You never met Brian. You never met Brian, Maybe. but today that you did, you know what I mean? <laughs> and today, definitely, you was a winner. But, uh, you know, the fact that you're from New Orleans, I respect that because Thank I respect you. my home and I'm prideful on being a Louisiana animal, right? Mm -hmm. And I definitely was feeling you. But, Thank you, you know, since you popped on me, handsome. we don't really deal with rejection too well. We respect that, mm -hmm. you know, but we move on. Yep, his energy is off. That's what it is. He seems condescending with everything he's saying. I think he's just trying to come off as confident, but he's just doing a little too much with his answers and everything. We actually didn't get, what do you do? Um, so I work in management. Okay. So the person that I kind of link with, we can kind of go into further of by my career, yeah. What industry, what management, what industry? Um, I wouldn't like to say, mm. yeah. I would like to discuss that with the person that I match with. I think that's a little more in depth. Okay, mm -hmm. you're looking good today. I love the orange, <laughs> definitely. Let's go to our next here we can have your name and age um, my name is Chanel Kent and I am originally from Gary Indiana I live here in Phoenix Arizona okay and I'm sorry we didn't get your age I am 42, 42. Um, and the reason why I popped my balloon is it's pretty much and you have already answered um, you didn't have any deal breakers um, I need someone that knows what he wants I can be a handful sometimes as well so and, and it can be anything so it's got to be something that makes you tick that you can be honest about. So that's why I popped my balloon. And you kind of remind me of my nephew, just mm -hmm. kind of. This is sweet. Okay. Kind of remind you of my nephew? Okay. Bro, <laughs> no. You don't remind her of your nephew. She don't even know your nephew. You remind her of her nephew. She knows him. <laughs> so you said the deal breakers would be because I don't have a deal breaker? Correct. Okay, well, I could have a clean... I need, I need a man to tell me something. Tell me what he want and don't want. And, and, and that can't will, tell me that, and, and I might jump all over you. <laughs> and that will come, definitely. I will definitely tell you where you're going wrong at. Mm -hmm. But as far as a deal breaker, um, I have a clean slate with everybody. I'm the type to trust you before I not trust you. I'm going to give you that grace before I don't give you that grace, right? But I respect how you feel. I like that response. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Janae. I'm 34. Hello, and Janae. Janae, what do you do? I'm in school for fashion design. I'm an office assistant, and I'm a new entrepreneur. Just about to launch my fitness clothing line called We Fit. <laughs> okay, and why did you end up popping your balloon for Brian? Hey, Brian. I love the way you speak, but for me, it was the pants. I don't like the pants too tight. I'm kind of ghetto, too, so I like them a little loose, and um, that was just it for me. It's the cameraman going down to the pants and bringing it back up for me. Now, this segment has gone viral. A lot of people have broken it down, reacted to it. And I remember seeing a title that this lady did reject him based off the skinny jeans. And people were furious. I actually think it's okay to reject somebody based off of the style they wear. It's not her cup of tea. She does not find it attractive. First impressions are lasting impressions. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. I don't see anything wrong with it. How old are you? 34. 34? Mm -hmm. How many kids you got? I got three. You got three? Yep. How many baby daddies? I have three. You got three baby daddies. Okay. I should have said zero. Mm. Because it's just me. You gonna lie to the public? No. I have three, but it's just me. I'm a single parent. Okay. There's no man in my life. Okay. No man in your life? 
Why is the boys. reason for the no man's in your life? Uh, well, my first child, his father passed away, and the other two are nowhere to be found. So what can you do? They do you like that? What's wrong with them? <laughs> Something. Mm. <laughs> Only God knows. Or is there something wrong with you? Possibly, but I think I'm just fine. I think you're just fine as well. Thank you. I don't know what's going on. Is he complimenting her? Is he coming for her? All of the above. <laughs> I was going to call her fine, but also ask, is there something wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with his questions. It's just the way he's saying it and what he's saying. It's just the timing is all off with him. <laughs> three baby daddies, three kids. Why? I can't vouch for that. You know what I'm saying? For the first one that passed away, that's sad. It's very hard. I'm sure for the child and I'm sure for her. Now, the other two... She should have made some better choices rather than having kids with two men that she's not committed to with a ring. You feel me? Like that, that's enough. Could have been something wrong with her and something wrong with him. There are always two sides to a story. So definitely poor decisions having three kids with three different fathers. Right. But to say that a 41 year old man is disqualified because of his parents. You're 41? I'll be 41 in September. Okay, because I was like, I thought you said 40. I'll be 41 in September. That's coming up. It's, I like it. It's okay for you. It's not my style. Mm. You know, with everything going on, I like the pants to be a little baggy. That's all. Where you from, love? Kansas City. Kansas City? Yeah. Okay. How long you been out here? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Let's go out over here. If we can have your name and age. I am Venusian, 39. And uh, you said Venusian? Mm -hmm. And what do you do? I'm a TikTok creator manager. Cool. And uh, why did you end up hopping your balloon? Um, I'm a free-spirited woman, so having to check in with somebody like they are my parent is something that I don't subscribe to, so that's why I pop my balloon. What do you mean, check in like they're your parent? The way that you were discussing how somebody needs to constantly, um, when we're out and about, to text or call and check in, that's something that I don't subscribe to. Now that, I think that's a reasonable request to ask your partner to check in when they're out and about at night, just to be safe, make sure they're good. He didn't say constantly check in. I think he said, just make sure you check in. It's just a difference to be all on somebody's ass versus just a one time check in. If you're out for four hours, a little text is okay. Nothing wrong with that. So. I think that's a red flag on her. That's your love. That's your significant other. You should want to check in with them. You should want them to know that you're safe. Okay. What do you do? I'm a TikTok creator manager. TikTok creator manager? For what company? Or is it for yourself? <laughs> it's for TikTok. For TikTok? Social media. Okay. Social media? Social media agent. Yes. Okay. How many kids do you have? I have two. How many baby daddies? Two. Two? Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? No. No? Okay. Okay. I was just asking because for real men, that's what matters. Mm -hmm. Your first one is given. Your second one, the mistake is on you. Oh, is it? Well, there's that's definitely right. under why I got married. That's pregnant, definitely right. That's nor here or there, and that's yeah, not what I'm here for. Okay, definitely. You're a beautiful woman, though. Thank you. But I respect your answer. I see why they pop their balloons. It's the way he's saying it. It's not what he's saying. I don't think what he's saying is necessarily wrong. And I'm sure a lot of guys are like, woo, 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 you know, rooting for him. Because I've also seen some titles with this saying, confident man humbles people or something. Like, blah, blah, blah. Y'all got to realize, he doesn't want to date a man. He wants to talk to a woman. And women do not find the way he's talking very attractive. She didn't even ask for this. He actually went off the rails a little bit. He was actually talking about work at first. And then he wanted to ask about the kids and the baby daddies when she already popped the bloom. So he dove into that a little too much. He shouldn't have even been focused on that. He should have just let it slide. Go to the women that actually still had their balloons. Get to know them. Pay attention to who's really feeling you. And don't pay attention to the ones that aren't feeling you. You know, move on. And he just turned every woman off. Some things just didn't make sense. The ghetto versus the deal breakers didn't make sense. But he's going to have to figure out a way to, to get his points across a little better for him to find a woman that's of good quality, at least. Because I know there will be a woman out there. That will be for him. But I can't say that she'll have the best qualities. But what do you guys think? Drop a comment down below. And until next time, I'm China. Ahu Party. I'm out.